Today, I'm teaching you five things you should never do when you are doing spiritual things, when you are doing spiritual work, when you are doing spiritual assignment. Because when you do these five things, things will never work for you. And that's the mistake a lot of our members, a lot of people are making without knowing it. Sometimes we make this mistake out of ignorance, sometimes without knowing it, you know. But I'm putting all of these five things to you right now so that you can avoid them and you can see things working for you each time that you do them. Because I've got a lot of messages telling me that, oh, some people complain that, oh yeah, the spiritual things don't work. And I want to tell you the reason why they don't. Because of these five things. Because these things actually work, whether you are using uh, candle, whether you are using onion, whether you are using lemon, whether you are using cinnamon powder, whether you are using your urine, whatever spiritual items you are using, they have powers in them if you use them appropriately. But if you do some of these five things that I'm talking about, they won't work for you. If you are interested in what I want to talk about today, I want you to watch this video. Continue to watch it and watch it till the end because they will definitely shock you, right? And you will know why your spiritual things don't work for you, why spiritual assignments don't work for you, why you don't get result as fast as you can. So let's keep this on the side right now. My name is Precious and this is Precious Spiritual TV. On this channel, we pray, we seek the face of God Almighty, we do spiritual exercises and God Almighty has been very faithful. A lot of our members, they share testimonies every single day. I pray that as you join us today, God Almighty will answer your prayers too. You will have testimonies. You will solve all the spiritual problems you're going through and spiritual things will work for you. So this video is all about five things that you do wrong, that you should never do again when using spiritual things. So now, welcome back to my channel. So we discuss things that are very spiritual, things that are very mystical. So now, this practice that I'm talking about may be something that is harmless. You don't think they are harmful, but I tell you, they can have serious consequences on your spiritual journey, on your spiritual work. It may even bring you spiritual side effect. So let's do this right now. First and foremost, number one thing you should never do when you are using spiritual things is you should never urinate on grass. You should never urinate on grass. You hear it right. When you pee on grass, okay, I know sometimes you may feel pressed. You want, you just feel like Depending on where you live, some people will just pee anywhere, on the grass, in their compound, or wherever. Don't do that. Okay? When you pee on the grass, it may seem like something that is very convenient for you. It may seem like a convenient spot when you are out in nature, especially because people go to nature, people go for camping, and they feel where they, they I mean, it's best to just pee on the on the grass, never, never do that. When you do that, this is considered very disrespectful to the spirit of nature. Okay? Now, it is believed that by peeing on the grass, you are disrespecting the spirit and you are disrespecting their home because nature has its own spirit, it has its own power. So, when you do, when you desecrate it, now you're disrespecting it and this can bring you you know spiritual side effect you may you may feel that it may it may bring you no result where you do it just keep doing spiritual assignments and you feel like things are not working for you this is very real you may have noticed this okay if you're somebody that is doing it please stop it right now so now always find a proper a proper place to relieve yourself whenever you want to do that. When you see, when you do spiritual things, don't do that, okay? So even if you can avoid it all totally, that's fine too. So now, the second thing you should never do is the position about sex, right? When you, when you, when you are into lovemaking, 
with your husband, with your wife, with your girlfriend, with your boyfriend during uh, spiritual assignment, during spiritual work. This affect the result of your spiritual assignment. So it's all about the positioning of the sex during this time. Also, though we believe that intimacy is very important, it's, a, it's an important path of any relationship, whether marriage. In fact, it's, 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 it, the intimacy is a sacred act. So it is important that you are mindful of the position that you choose. This position of doggy style is very disrespectful. I mean, when you are doing spiritual work, never do love making doggy style. No, don't do that. It's considered disrespectful. It is degrading in many spiritual practices, especially when you are doing spiritual work. So it is believed to invite negative energies and disrupt the energies within a relationship. So that even during this time, you may find out that during this time, you and your partner are fighting. There's no harmony, no peace, no balance. You guys may even separate during this time. Okay? So please, it is best to absorb, to, to avoid this position even if you can uh, uh, if you can stay away from love making during this time when you're doing spiritual work it will do you a lot of good now that takes us to the third point number three is when you eat okra okay okra when you eat okra all right during sex this is wrong during spiritual work don't get it wrong I love okra personally and a lot of people all over the world eat it too. You get what I'm saying? You can eat it if you like it, but not during spiritual assignment. You get what I'm saying? This may sound very strange, but in some cultures, okra is believed to be a symbol of bad luck and misfortune. When people eat okra during spiritual assignment, Okay, they start feeling, they, you know, they fall into poverty. They start losing money. They start having misfortune. They start having failure in every area of your life. They start, they become stagnant. No progress. No, no forward movement during this period. It has happened. In fact, a lot of people have shared their experiences with me regarding this. So I'm not saying this applies to everyone, but if you can avoid okra when you are doing spiritual work, when you are using spiritual things. That would be great. Or any slimy food. If you can avoid them, that would be great. It is said that eating okra can bring negative energy into your life. Right? So if you come across okra when you're doing spiritual work, it is best to avoid it. Alright? So that you can preserve your positive energy, so that you can stay away from negative energy, and so that spiritual things can work for you in the mighty name of God. Now, this brings me to the fourth point, number four. Okay, it's about hygiene. Hygiene. Why it is important to, to maintain personal hygiene? It is also important to be mindful of how you do it. Okay, washing your hands. When you wash your hands in the same bowl as somebody else, okay, Let's say you are eating because this is common especially let's say you're a good friend instead of you to eat your food in separate places or wash your hand in different bowls especially people that eat with their hands you get what i'm saying they may want to wash hand in the same bowl as somebody else this is believed to transfer negative energy and spirit never do that if you're somebody that do this please desist stop it right especially when you are using spiritual things you they don't make things work for you please always use separate bowls for washing your hand you get what i'm saying if you're somebody that wash your hand in a bowl do it separately so that you don't contract bad negative energy from somebody else's so that your spiritual things can work for you so that spiritual assignment can produce good result for you in the mighty name of God. Now, this brings us to the last point, which is number five point. Finally, my last point is about sleeping naked. Are you always sleeping naked when you do spiritual work? 
Why it may seem very comfortable, of course it's always very comfortable, it's liberating, but it is not recommended in spiritual practices, right? It is not. It is believed that sleeping naked make you vulnerable to negative energy and spirit. So it is best to wear comfortable and loose clothing when you are sleeping. So now there you have it. Those are the five things you should never do when using spiritual things. Remember, these practices may vary okay, from cultures to cultures, from belief to belief. But it is always better to her on the side of caution. So thank you so much for watching. I believe that this video make any sense to you. If it makes sense to you, if it's a blessing to you already, if you love what I've done in this video, just press the like button right now. Share this video with your friends and family. Share it everywhere. Let it be a blessing to many people out there. And God Almighty will bless you abundantly. What do you think about this video? Do you love this? Are you sharing this with me? Have you at any point in time, you know, fall victims of all of this? Have you done any of this before? If you have, feel free to let me know in the comment section and make sure you stop all this hat, right? And watch what happens when you do spiritual work. You will see that those spiritual assignments will work for you like fire in the mighty name of God. Please share this video with your friends and family. Share it everywhere. Let it be a blessing and watch this video next. They will definitely change your life around for good in the mighty name of God. My name remain Precious and this is Precious Spiritual TV. If you have any uh, requests, prayer requests, okay, let me know in the comment section and I'm going to pray for you. God bless you. I love you. Remember to like this video, subscribe to this channel if you love what we do here and also turn on all notifications so that you can always get my video every single time. I love you all.